In the last episode, we drew the Strawberry Queen. Well, at least the one that the kingdom should have had. She's not. She went rogue and she's on a dark path. But if she's not the ruler, then who is? Now I heard you guys. Oh, the Strawberry King, yeah. Yeah, we could. But aren't you interested in the other woman? And I love, um, love triangles but only when the two girls are polar opposite. If the original girl is pink, fluffy, caring, and nice, well, I need her to wear the king's crown. It just suits her better. She should always be in armor. It's like a second skin that, ugh, I love it. And such dark colors. If the original girl was light pink, then she needs black in her design. I don't, these metallic claws that are so nasty and gritty. Um, I don't really want to see her in a dress ever. I don't think that it suits her. And I think that she spits in the face of social status. I, she's unorthodox. She might be an anarchist. Also, pants. I think this is a much better design. I think pants suit her. I want an unconventional. You know how you get your heart broken and suddenly you're, you're attracted to people that are completely different from your ex? That is what I think happened here. That girl ripped the king's heart out and this is what he ended up with. I love, the pants going into heels is my favorite part if I'm honest. That is my favorite part. I think this is so pretty. She's such an unserious woman. She's got a bell around her neck because I think that she worries the church. You know, there's always gotta be an evil church in there somewhere. And I think she worries the council. They have to keep an eye on her. But I wanna do this outfit again. I loved it so much. One more time. I just want to color in that entire outfit. I love stark differences like day and night. So if the original girl had that warm, pink, inviting skin and she smiled and she was sweet and everyone loved her, I need this woman to have like scaly, blue, cold colors. I need her to be cold blooded. Um, the first girl smiles, this one, she needs to smirk then. She just has to. She's got to have dry humor, dark humor. I need to laugh when it's not appropriate. The first girl wore beige dresses. This one, you won't catch her. You won't catch her in it. I think I'm in love. <laughs> you know how like, I think it's poetry. You have like the three types of people that's like, I'll live for you, I'll die for you, I'll kill for you. The first girl, the original queen that, that should have been. She's definitely I'll die for you. Acts of servitude. She is a public servant. She's she's a dreamboat. She's everybody's woman. However, this one is more I'll kill for you. She won't necessarily die. I think she's hard. I think she's way too hard to kill in the first place. But I definitely think the acts of violence is her way of expressing love. I'm into this definitely into this and i'm so messy right now so we don't care we're just here for pretty girls and nice outfits <laughs> you know i feel like she's got broken dialect and her voice is kind of rough rugged a little deep Ugh. she's so oh yes i also feel like this girl is such a terrible oh that's all right we don't care <laughs> I feel like she's got such a bad eye for for shiny things. I think that she's like a little, she likes the spoils of war. She does, she's a taker. I think that's also what like intrigues the king. She laughs a little too loud, she's vulgar. She slings back beers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that. No, we can't take that back now. I love that idea. <laughs> the queen is a lush. <laughs> I love that so much. And I also, I feel like the first girl, her loyalty is to the kingdom and her king. This girl is only to the king, but because he loves his kingdom and she loves him, by default, the, the kingdom is safe. And that's not good enough for the church, but that's good enough for you and me. <laughs> we normally have strawberries coming out of the hair. It, it, I feel like it's infused in her armor. Like, I don't, I don't know, I think it's a part of that. And it doesn't fall out either. That is so sick. I, I like that and I like the big strawberry crown. That is my favorite.
because I feel like only the kings get like the really big ones that sit on their heads. And queens typically have like the tiaras that just, that just sit pretty. Not this one. I think it wasn't even meant for her. I think she saw it sitting on the king's head and she said, gimme. I just feel like she's such an unorthodox woman. And I think it's metal that she spits on tradition and typically encourages her subjects to be more independent. Oh my God. Cause this feels bare. I bet this is how the church feels when they look at her and they're like, no, that can't be what she's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> so I outline this again. I feel like that's what makes it pop. And of course, the, you need the stems. Because with that, this will look like tomatoes and I can't. So technically, the official color of like royals is supposed to be purple. I don't think we've done that color yet. I, I would like a queen in the traditional sense in purple. To be honest, I really just want her so the two of them can butt heads so terribly. When you have one who sneers at tradition and then the other who tradition is everything, they are nothing without it. They can't be in the same room together. Oh, it'd be catty, it'd be so catty. It's either that or I need her to have a best friend that's just like her. Except instead of like the weapon on her body, she just carries like a really large axe or sword or something. And it's just inappropriate to have it on her back at all times. I, I like people who give off the same energy and it's chaotic and it doesn't belong, but it's right there in your face. Or maybe both. Wouldn't that be overwhelming? Her enemy and her best friend. Three idiots. And they have to stay together as a trio. I kind of like it. <laughs> Oh no, I kind of like that a lot. You and I have made a few queen characters. Not that I remember them all that well, but I'd like to have a little roster. I'd like to have a little battle royale, but I will say that I really like the flat colors. We haven't even added shading and I think it looks so good. I think it looks so good. It's only gonna get better. You know, while it might be, be sad on the king's end, and maybe a little pathetic, but I want the kingdom to know that he pursued the, the original woman who was so put together. And now they see this, this woman with this moppy brown hair and this thuggish, this rogue bandit even, this crazy appearance. And they're like, what happened to him? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think the original girl didn't have a hair out of place. And this is what they're left with, which to be honest, she's a great queen. No one's gonna mess with her, but I bet they just wonder what went wrong. You know, I would apologize for being such a messy colorer today, but I think that I've been this this entire time and you know it, and I know you know it. <laughs> Jading the strawberry part of the crown, it just gives me serotonin. I think this looks so much better. I, you know, shading really is one of the best parts. It used to be outlining, but right now, like look how much that more, that just pops. Now, do I know when to quit? Absolutely not. I don't think I ever will, but I just think it looks so good. Shading just to another level we go. Now for the strawberries. I don't know how far we got into the fruit series. I really don't remember any other fruit other than the banana bunny girl, but she's my favorite. <laughs> or at least the strawberry design is my favorite to do. This is so fun. Like I remember we did like the pineapple girl with vitiligo, but we didn't get very far in that series, but we should, I'm glad that we got here though. Strawberry is my favorite. It is the most aesthetically pleasing. Like, look at that hat, look at, the, look at the crown. Look at this woman, look at the seeds. Look at her. I just love this idea. I feel like no one's wrong for suspecting her to be bad for the kingdom. I think it's fair. She looks nothing like a queen should. A woman who Craps on the patriarchy.
Yeah, I think I'm leaning more towards the, not the best friend, but the queen who can't really stand her, who thinks she's an embarrassment to queens everywhere. I, <laughs> I kind of need that feud in my life. I need to see it. I will say this, I don't think that her her nemesis, let's say, that's that's a little bit too that's a little bit too serious. I think it's just cattiness. It's not anything serious. I think the one she can't get along with should not be another berry queen. It should be something else. We'll be on the lookout for that idea. Her hair might blend in with the metal, but I still don't want to change it. I think that's fine. I don't think I'd like another color. I don't think I'd change anything. I like her. Aww. I think that this is a pretty cool idea. I love, I love the pants the most, honestly. It's so fun. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.